Hey everyone, thanks for watching. I recently posted this photo of these sunglasses on my Instagram account and they are all from AliExpress.com. Super duper affordable and I just wanted to show you what they look like on me. This first pair actually didn't make it to the photo that I posted on Instagram, but this pair was the very first pair of sunglasses that I purchased from AliExpress. I really love these. What I was drawn to most was the rose-colored lenses and how they have an ombre effect. I just think it's really pretty. It's very like disco retro, <clears throat> excuse me. And I love the different lens structure, how it's angled on both sides, top and bottom. I really love wearing sunglasses that are not the norm, that are unusual. My husband makes fun of me, but I just, I've always been like that. And so I was really drawn to these sunglasses. They come in different colors and I just love the rose colored lenses. This next pair is quite different. I've never seen any sunglasses like this before. Whenever I wear these sunglasses, I get the most compliments on them. And it's actually my husband's least favorite pair. They're all, it's an all metal frame. Even the lenses are metal. They're not um, like uh, typical sunglasses. So they're very reflective and they're super comfortable because they're so extremely lightweight and I like that they don't rest on my cheeks. And here they are up close, forgive me, but they're super scratched up because I wore them literally like every single day this past summer. So I just threw them in my purse because they are super inexpensive, cheapies I call them. And um, so they're kind of scratched up. And this next pair here, I love, I love aviators. I mean, aviators look, they look good on everyone. And I love them oversized. This one has a gold frame with these flower details all around them. I didn't know that they had them on there, but I was okay with it when they arrived. And these have sort of a green, greenish, goldish um, look to the lenses. Uh, they do rest on my cheeks, but it's totally okay because it doesn't leave a mark on my cheeks. But these also come in different colors. I was just more drawn to the gold and green color. It depends on like how you tilt and look into the light. It'll kind of change color. So here they are up close. Some of you guys might not like the flower detail, especially like if you aren't, you know, girly or anything. But I didn't really see that in the photos. I wasn't looking for that. So when I got them, I... I still like them, but I was a little thrown off. Here are another pair of aviators. These ones are also larger than the Ray-Ban aviators that I have already, um, but they have a different style. As you can see here, they're a little bit more flat on the top and a little wider through the middle. These don't rest on my cheeks, which is nice, and I love just how larger they are as far as aviators go. They're super lightweight. This is a gold frame and the lenses are sort of gold and pink. And again, it'll just depend on which you know way you're hitting the light. And these also came in different colors you can choose from. And <laughs> forgive me, but you can see the stack of boxes that I have underneath my camera. I'm actually shooting from a different location in my house. So I was testing this location out and just put my camera on top of some boxes. So forgive me for being a little MacGyverish. This next pair, they're quite unusual. I um, I don't know, I just lately I've been loving the flat top or like really square type of sunglasses. And these ones are super flat on top, but rounded on the bottom. They looked really good on the people that I saw in the listing. So when I got them, I, I personally really like them. My husband thinks that these are like old man sunglasses, <laughs> which I can see what he's talking about. But I think it's so cool because it's different. I like that it has the two-tone lenses, or I'm sorry, the two-tone frames, and then also the lenses are ombre. So I think it's cool how it just kind of fades to the bottom and you can kind of see your skin at uh, the bottom of the lenses. And these are, you know, really cheap sunglasses, but the feel of them actually feels really nice quality. And forgive me for the dust. I was just using a t-shirt that I had 
had by me to <laughs> clean these sunglasses so they look a little dirty but I love these sunglasses he makes he meaning my husband makes me feel a little self-conscious wearing them because he says that they just don't look good but I again love really unusual sunglasses and this pair here reminds me of like the Terminator. I absolutely love how flat they are on the top and on the bottom. And these definitely feel like cheap on the cheap side because they're plastic, there's no like metal and it's not like a heavy duty plastic. They're super lightweight and the lenses themselves are extremely dark, but I love that. And the top of these sunglasses have a kind of like matte finish and then the bottom is kind of that shiny plastic so I, I think that's pretty cool and the sides of the frames have this kind of like a pyramid like detail and again sorry sorry you guys the lenses are super dirty I tried to clean them quickly but I had my kids in the room so I did my best but um, again on the side of the frames they have this like pyramid detail which I like because it gives them a little bit of you know some style rather than just being plain black sunglasses and as you can see the matte um, frame also extends to the sides and then here is this pair of sunglasses probably the most futuristic sunglasses that I have these are obviously plastic but they don't feel like my the other ones that I just showed you they have a little bit more of a heavy-duty feel and so they don't feel as cheap I love these yes they're super strange no they're not for everyone but I just love the ombre effect on the lenses and just how different they are I mean I'm not gonna be wearing these all the time but like occasionally if I want to rock this look I can because these sunglasses are so just different and edgy and I absolutely love them. So if you are interested in getting some sunglasses that are very inexpensive but look great and they have on AliExpress.com you know typical sunglasses, nice aviators, other types of sunglasses that aren't so edgy but if you're looking for edgy sunglasses then this is the place to go. If you lose them or you break them you won't cry because you spent hundreds of dollars on your sunnies. I have lost and broken my fair share of very expensive sunglasses. So having these on hand, it just for me is way, way better. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Look down below for more information and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, do not forget to subscribe before you leave. See you guys next time.